So before we go over the RTX 5090 in comparison to the RTX 4090, I want to go over a couple of other articles, one of them being the first GeForce Experience update since November of 2023. We also ended up getting an Intel Arc graphics card update, and then a quick little update regarding the AMD Ryzen 9000 series and the 9950X CPU. It's going to be a pretty bang for your buck CPU. So first up, I want to quickly go over whether or not you should buy an NVIDIA RTX 5090 in comparison to the RTX 4090. What we are aware of right now is the RTX 5090 is supposedly going to be getting a 40 to 70% increase over the 4090. Now I want you to keep in mind, this is not going to be for gaming. A 70% increase just for gaming alone, that's not going to end up happening. This is probably going to be in areas like path tracing, ray tracing, the AI features inside of the video games. And to be completely honest, there's probably a bunch of unannounced stuff that the 50 series of graphics cards is going to introduce because Quite frankly, that's just how NVIDIA has been the past, like, I want to say probably like six years. They've been very innovative with the things that they are bringing to us, the, the tech enthusiast and stuff. Now, I'm not going to read everything here. Obviously, this is a huge article, so it would just be a 40-minute long video we have covered all of this stuff i'm just putting it on screen so that you guys can understand i do actually understand what i am talking about and i'm not just spitting gibberish out of my mouth so whether or not you should buy an rtx 5090 over an rtx 4090 this is just my personal opinion here if you're using your computer for work business yes if you're using your computer for gaming Look, man, I have said this numerous times. You absolutely do not need an RTX 4090 to play video games. You are more than capable of playing games at 4K high refresh rates with a RTX 4080. Or if you really just want to get the 4090, then you can feel free to do so. But it is not it, like if I'm saying the 4090 is not worth it for gaming, the 5090 is it's even going it's going to be even less of a worth it aspect. And that's just that's just me being honest, man. You can if 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 you honestly want to spend twenty five hundred dollars to play video games at high refresh rates, then you can feel free to do so. But like I'm just trying to like give my own a personal opinion. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. So this right here, I am covering this for a reason. The Supreme Court agrees to hear NVIDIA appeal, um, like a massive crypto sales lawsuit. And then the article gave us a quick little breakdown with three paragraphs that I am going to end up reading, but I'm going to show you guys the rest of this article. If you would like to pause the video and read over anything here, because it is pretty interesting. So the shares of NVIDIA were up slightly at 132.11 trillion. I'm pretty sure is what that, that it, no, 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 no. Oh, hold up. So, okay, so this is one. Okay, hold up. So we're going to go back up here because I don't remember anything I read. The U.S. Supreme Court on Monday agreed to hear NVIDIA's appeal of a lower court ruling allowing a shareholder class action lawsuit that accused the artificial intelligence AI, quote unquote, chip maker of securities fraud. The lawsuit launched in 2018 and the charges the company CEO Jensen Huang and CFO Colette Cress of misleading shareholders about how much of its revenue came from those in the cryptocurrency industry. A district court judge in San Francisco tossed out the suit in 2021, but the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals revived it last August. So quite frankly, dude, this is just part of the game. And uh, the only reason I'm covering this is because I'm sure there's a lot of people into the tech news and updates that are also investing into the tech aspect of the stock market. So the reason I'm covering that is because of that. You may want, uh, this is no financial advice. You know what I mean? You may want to dump your Nvidia stock right now and just, and then once it tanks after this, you can go ahead and rebuy those stocks from the profits that you ended up gaming because this is going to cause the stock to go down. 
especially like it, it's just it's what's going to happen it's just it's kind of how the stock market works if you're not keeping up to date with the news then it's going to be it's going to be that luck factor it's going to be that hit or miss type of situation but if you actually understand what is going on with the market like just an example like rockstar i'm just i'm just putting this out here just as an example i don't even know if rockstar has stock in the stock market or whatever i'm just saying this because if it was, it would be a good example. So Rockstar has had Grand Theft Auto 5 for what, 10 years now, right? So the stock market's probably like, obviously they're releasing other games, so there's spikes and stuff. But then they announced Grand Theft Auto 6. Immediately, that is when you go buy stock. As soon as they announce the GTX 6 trailer, first of all, you're probably going to be a couple minutes late and it's probably already like going way, way, way up. And you're probably about to hit that bull run. So you invest then, you wait a couple days, you sell off. Now, obviously, the more money you have, the more money you dump into the stock market, the better off you're going to be. And I fully regret selling my NVIDIA stock and I'm not going to be buying it anymore. But dude, I had a little bit over $15,000 into the NVIDIA stock and I sold it off probably like halfway, <laughs> halfway up the like the bull run that it went through. And um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and this is the new GeForce experience update for those of you that want to want to see all this. Stuff. So the optimal setting supported ad for 122 new video games. And uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share this with my sister because I built her a computer uh, for my niece for her for uh, for a Christmas gift last year. And it's been having some issues. Uh, I ended up swapping the power supply. And I also put a new NVMe in it, but, uh, um, uh, but anyways, it's been giving her problems for some, and I can't figure out what it is. It's a lower end computer. It has a, it has a 13100, just an i3 with 13100 and then a GTX 1660 Super. And she was originally just playing like smaller games like uh, so like Stardew Valley. My sister plays The Sims and she also she like they, they both like the whatever the the city builder type games and then um, like the more strategy games like the more like smaller indie type style games. But she's been getting into the newer stuff. I told her to get Game Pass. <laughs> and now she's playing like the newer games like cyberpunk 2077 and she's playing whatever all the like newer games on the like game pad and to be i i still it still blows me away how they're able to like i mean i understand it like obviously have the pc they got xbox they got a lot of different software that they're selling people to make money but it just it blows me away how much of a good value uh games pass is so we they squashed some bugs as well i forgot to show you guys this and then I'm going to move on over here in case I get way, 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 way too off topic. So the reason that this is cool is because, dude, I'm fully, I'm, I'm totally rooting for Intel and the Battle Mage. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. So the gaming highlights, a couple of brand new games, Destiny 2, The Final Shape, and then Elden Ring Shadow of the End, or whatever, new DLC, and then new DLC. You guys, you understand what I was saying. And then all this other stuff, We've got Chaverly Crisis, Chaverly Crisis. And then we're going to go over to the fixed issues here. And then known issues. And all this stuff. All right. So that is all of that stuff. And what I was saying is my sister was getting into the new game. So I'm not sure if that's why she's having problems. But I, so I originally thought it was the power supply. I honestly thought it was the power supply because she didn't listen to me. And she's kept her computer on the freaking carpet over the past year or seven months. So, she, so I'm like, so when I blew out the, her power supply, dude, it was so dusty. So I'm like, oh, you probably fried your power supply. So I put a new power supply in from Be Quiet and uh, whatever. It was still giving me problems. I kept it in there because why not? And then I ended up swapping the NVMe. And I, I put a different CPU in. Or no, I put a different CPU in. And then I swapped to a new NVMe. And it seemed like all of the problems were just gone. But now she's telling me her like lights were flickering and stuff. So uh yeah. Well, I probably shouldn't have Oh, look at that. 
my webcam is covering people's names in the messages. Sweet. Uh, so anyways, this right here, prices of the 9950, the 9900 X, the 9700 or the 9700X, and then the 9600X for, so this is the full lineup of AMD. Does it give us specs? Oh my gosh. What is this website? Oh, no way. What is this? I've never seen this website before. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to show you guys all the specs. Hold up. I'm recording in 4K, you guys. And again, if you're on mobile and you can't see this, take your fingers, pinch in. You can literally, you can literally zoom in to see the specs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'll give you we'll give you a couple really. We're gonna I thought it was an advertisement. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back over here. We're gonna so I'm gonna click the new one, this 9700 x I'll let you guys pause and zoom in on those specs. Again, just pinch your fingers if you're on mobile. If you're on PC, I know you can read this. Go full screen if you're not full screen. And then the 9600 x And this, my friends, is all of them. You can go ahead and pick and choose which part you want to zoom on into. Give you a couple more seconds to pause the video and zoom on in if you if you if you, if you, if you, if you, if you want to. But uh, yeah, man, that's that's everything. So going back to the article, whether or not you should buy, because this is a really common question that I'm getting and seeing in the comment section. AMD is going to be cheaper, but you can't compare AMD to Nvidia when AMD is literally a graphics card card for gamers, and Nvidia is a graphics card for like everything a graphics card is capable of doing at this point. You know what I mean? Like you can't compare them, dude. It's like comparing a, a a phone from 1990 where you got to dial it to a phone in 2024 where you can literally do anything you want on your phone. There's like a, there's a big difference. This one calls people. This one, you can use the internet. You can use applications. You can make money with. You can call people. You can literally do everything with this phone in 2024. So you can't compare this phone to a dial-up phone that literally does nothing other than call people. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna bring I was gonna bring us to the end of the video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.